What's up guys, welcome back to another photo review Wednesday. I got these pictures that you guys sent to the email that's right here in the video description. And my intention is to review these images and try to give you some tips and maybe ideas on how to improve not only your photography, but your sales and stock photography. All right, number one, it looks like a snowy landscape here. It looks very simple, which I like. It's very simplistic. Uh, as far as an image, I mean, I like it. It's good. It's a Canon 5D Mark II 50 millimeter 1.8. It looks pretty good. It was shot at f 250th of a second, 7.1 and ISO 100. I mean, it's a very simple shot for stock. I don't think it's gonna do much because it's lacking a concept. As far as an image, it looks sharp. The processing, it looks like it was recovered a little bit. The color here is a little red because you get the color uh, bleeding from the bench itself. But it looks good. I mean, I don't see really anything wrong with it. There's, they actually, when I zoom in and I see the grain here, there's some weird colors. There's some reds and some blue, so it was saturated. And I think you brought out the color from the bench, which is why you see it here in the grass. So be very careful with this bleeding here. You can see it down here in the landscape. So this photo is not gonna get accepted because of the uh, technical issues. That's what they're gonna uh, refer to it as. There's some footprints and things that probably you could remove so to make it a cleaner and more simplistic image. But overall, good job. Just be very careful when it comes to processing and try not to bleed some of those colors that are uh, pretty much hidden in there. But when you add vibrance or saturation, it's gonna really pixelate and bring colors that should not be there. Uh, next. The next photo, there's lemon with the water. That's some high speed flash. That's very good. Uh, I like the detail. Canon 7D Mark II, 50 millimeter, F11. Shutter speed 180th. This was frozen with the flash. So you set your flash to low speed. When the flash, that's what freezes the motion. So even though your fruit's falling at an 80th of a second, it's still sharp. Uh, it's, it seems to be a very small photo. This is not gonna get accepted because it's cropped in too small. It's not quite three megapixels and it have to be about five. Uh, so let me zoom in a little bit more just to check. Focus is spot on. Awesome capture. Just be careful with the highlights, especially with the whites and the lemon. You can see that there's not a lot of detail left. All I did was bring the highlights and the whites back to try to bring that, that detail here in the whites. Uh, other than that, you're doing amazing. Great job and move on to the next photo. All right, so the next photo, we're continuing with the lemons. It's the same photographer that did a whole series of lemons. Uh, that's what I like to see when I'm doing it for a stock photo shoot. Use the same props and just do as many photos as you can plan your photo shoots do as many photos as you as you can get and then upload the best ones that's the best way to get numbers up and to get your practice as a photographer and so this is a canon 7d mark ii 35 millimeter and it's not quite four megapixels so i don't think it's going to get accepted for stock uh 125th of a second f10 that means that everything is sharp if i zoom in at 100 percent you can see that the edges the plate everything has good detail uh, the branches here, the leaves have very good detail and so does the lemons. So that's great, great camera setting, good choice there. I like the lighting, it's nice soft, you still have detail on the whites. The only thing is really try to get straight on and flat so it doesn't look like the plate's falling. Here with Lightroom I can do a little bit of a tweak. It's not going to be the same as getting it on camera. But you know, something like that so it looks, so the plate looks round. All right, the next lemon photo, I got a lot from the same photographer. This one looks beautiful. I mean, you got great props, you got the sack, you got the slices. Again, it looks a little bit bright here when we go to the lemon. Uh, let me try to bring down some of the highlight just to bring, see, that to me that almost looks better instantly. It brings back texture on the wood on your background and just, uh, just makes everything pop just a little bit. So be really careful with the highlights. Uh, when I work on photos, my monitor is usually at like uh, three, three or four. That way my, cause the monitor is backlit and different monitors, different levels, you're gonna get things differently. So I try to keep mine low and then also keep an eye on your histogram. So you know when you're burning highlights and when you don't. Another way to do it is hit the J in Lightroom and it'll bring you shadows. And when it, the blue means it's, there's no detail, it's too dark. And uh, the red means it's blown out. So be really careful. Let me go back to original so you see the, the image. So that's a reset on the photo. Uh, there's no highlights that are blown out. 
but there's no de de there's not much detail here on the on the whites. I'm assuming you have flashes or speed lights when you're doing this photo shoot. Just be really careful with the distance. The further away your flashes go, you reduce the intensity of the light. So just you know you can move it a foot or two, and that will make it much softer and avoid some of these explosive highlights on the photo. So the following uh, lemon is a lemon drop <laughs> or a martini some kind with the lemon. I can't zoom in to see focus. It looks like it was it, it's captured perfectly. I can see the detail here. I'm a 400% so I'm losing some of the detail but the glass and everything else looks looks very good. I can see there was like a, a plexiglass here and then a black thing in the back. This is also captured with uh, speed lights or flashes or strobes. It looks beautiful. We could add, uh, drop the blacks a little more to have it completely isolated on black. And you can see how, let me go here, before and after. It really didn't do much to the drink itself, but it cleaned up the background here and just left the water splashes or the vodka splashes and a clean background. So a little bit, a little bit more contrast or simply just dropping the blacks is gonna give you a cleaner image and something that might pop a little bit more on a grid. Uh, but yeah, amazing job, let's move on to the next photo. All right, next we got a little bit more lemons. This one's a little bit more subtle. The edit is a little softer. It doesn't have that contrast, that oomph, which I like. I like this editing style as well. The focus looks great. This is a 400%, it's very sharp. I can see detail on the lemon uh, on the whites, so that is great. Another beautiful capture, 1 60th of a second at f8. The flowers, the lemons, the, the cutting board here, the texture in that is beautiful. The only thing I'm gonna say about this image is the composition for stock especially. You want your subject on the lower third. Your subject right now is in the middle. I see that there's black all around. So either make it all black so it could be added later or added in Photoshop, just add a little bit more so that your subject is, let's say, here in the corner and you have a little bit more black on this side and on top. But great job, uh, I like what you're doing. Let's move on to the next image. The next photo is a stormy rain. These clouds here are looking really good. Uh, the rain over there, the distance, wow. Let me go back to 100%. The image is a little noisy. Uh, you can see here, it's pretty noisy uh, and it looks, it almost looks blurred. I know the wind was blowing, so this is has motion. Even though it was a 200th of a second at f5.6, ISO 500. It might be the ISO, I'm not sure what camera it was. Nikon Z7, it shouldn't really have issues with ISO. But there's quite a bit of noise in the photo and the lighting is a little dark. Uh, you can see here that it's towards the dark side. That might be in the processing. Uh, but you, act, you wanna see the landscape, when, especially with stock, you're selling something, you're showing what's happening in the scene, so you wanna see the landscape. I will brighten up the processing just a little bit. You can see how it opened up, just two clicks, exposure, and bring down the highlights to recover that. And you can see how the photo just looks a little bit brighter. You see more of what's down there. Uh, you still see the rain, you get everything, beautiful scene. And uh, it, it does give you that, wow, what's going on there? Uh, the other thing I would like to see is a little bit more of the grass here in the front. There's not much happening in the upper part of the sky, so adding a little bit more of the foreground I think would make it a, a stronger image. But like I said, great job. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, the next photo looks like a portrait, beautiful shot, very well done. Again, it's a small photo. I don't have any details. Uh, I don't know why, it just says 1280 by 1920. So the camera model and everything is not showing up. I'm gonna zoom in at 400%. Uh, the skin tones, it, lo it looks beautiful. You can see it was professional lighting. I see the catch light on the eyes. Very well done. The background is not fully white, which it doesn't have to be, but I think it helps in, uh, for stock. Here with Lightroom, it's a little bit easier now. We can just select the background uh, and just pump that up uh, to, to where it's isolated on white. Just like that, two clicks, the photo is completely on a white background and that should help us sell it if we're looking at stock. If you're just looking at a portrait, I like when the eyes are on the upper third. I think it gives you a more eye level composition. That's why I shoot my videos and I try to keep my eyes on the upper level. I think it adds uh, strength. It makes you look at the photo from the same level and you don't have just a negative space above the head, which 
there's no reason for it there. The one thing I'm gonna mention with this photo, and like I said, I don't have the detail because it's a very small file. Uh, it's on the skin and the processing of the skin. I could tell it was softened. It looks great, but I can't tell that it was softened. Uh, to be really careful, don't overdo it. This one looks, I mean, you can see it, it looks really good. Years ago, this was the thing to do. Now, stock wants more realistic photos of people without makeup or things like this. Just be very careful with how much you soften people's faces so that they look natural. And um, in this case, I'm gonna say you did amazing because it's, it, like I said, it, I could see that it was changed, but not by how much, which is, it's very good. Uh, next. The next photo uh, looks the same model. Again, I don't have the dimensions. It's a very small file and I don't have the camera that it came from. Uh, this one looks a little bit better. You can see that the eyes are a little bit closer to the top, which I like. I would have liked to see maybe a little bit more on the third. Again, I'm just gonna insist on that. But then I ruined his haircut and everything else. I'm just gonna leave it as is. Uh, the skin softening, again, I can see that it was done here in the nose. And here I almost lose the line uh, on the nose. So this one, be really careful. I, could, I do see that it was like textured added, uh, makeup or something, but you're doing amazing. These are great portraits, beautiful shots for stock. This might do very well. Jewelry like this might have trademarked or things like that. So be very careful when you include jewelry. These have a music sign on the earring. So that might give you trouble with stock. But when it comes to your photography, you're doing awesome, great shots. Next. All right, next one, this is a, a larger image. I don't know if it's the same photographer or not. This is uh, about five megapixels, so it's still not huge. Your lighting, your style, your focus is on point. I just wish I had the details on the camera, which I don't, but you're doing a very good job. Something like this for stock, for makeup, for, I could see many uses for something like this. And this one has the dimensions already, but remember, the larger you can get, the better that's gonna be for, for usage in stock. Uh, great job, let's move on to the next one. It looks like this week's video was from three photographers. <laughs> that's why I'm asking for one or two photos because I want to focus on as many people as I can reach and not just like a portfolio um, review. But these are great shots and give me great insight that everybody can learn from, not only from composition, but from everything else uh, involved. And in this photo, you see that the eyes are in the upper third, so that's perfect. The size is not there again, 1920 by 1080. This is just export for the email, I'm sure. If I zoom in at 400%, I notice that she has that tattoo. If we're gonna be selling this for stock, that's gotta be removed. Uh, it's the same model from the last photo because you see the same makeup. And the only other thing I'm gonna share here with you, like you can see her eyes are in the upper third, that looks great. It's the background. Uh, it doesn't look completely white, but like I said before, with Lightroom, select master background, then we could just bring the highlights on the background itself and leave the model alone. This will help us sell photos. Let me bring a little bit of shadow just to match the lighting on her and on the, uh, the background. Jay in Lightroom tells me it's almost completely isolated. A little bit of uh, brightness here and I can make that image completely stand out. It wasn't as easy years ago to isolate a subject on white. So a few times I got lazy and I left like a, an off gray, an off white color. And those photos don't sell as much as when I took my time and isolated the subject on white. And like I said, with Lightroom today, it's super easy. So don't forget to go the extra steps so the editor doesn't have to. And that should generate more sales for you. There's one more photo today and I don't have uh, the camera that it came from. It's 2,000 by 1,500 pixels, so it's not big enough for stock. It looks a little pixelated when I zoom in, and that's just the size of the photo. But it's a beautiful storm. You can see here, it, it just looks awesome. I remember when I lived in Idaho, you could see it was flat, and you could see all the storms coming in like this. The composition's on point. You got all these lines leading to the bottom uh, middle which is uh, one of the thirds here. You can see all these lines here, those lines there, great composition. I just wish I had a bigger file and more detail on the overall photo. 
And I think that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any photos you want to see on a video, send them to the email that's right there in the video description. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.